So lynda.com, I'm going to start at the New City Library, which is where I always start with these presentations because I want to show you how to get into it. If you just go to lynda.com, which is a consumer product, you will get blocked out and you won't be able to use it. Uh, you need to go in through the library. Uh, once again, uh, in this case, this database is only available to New City Library card holders. Um, there are some other libraries that subscribe to it, namely, uh, I believe Valley Cottage and Pearl River. Uh, but right now, this is just for New City and if another library happens to subscribe. So at newcitylibrary.org under eLibrary, go to databases and research. And the link is right here to lynda.com. Either of these links will take you to the same place where you'll have to enter your library card number and your PIN to access Linda. Uh, and so I guess at this point we should really talk about, well, what is Linda? Uh, Linda is essentially online courses and videos to help you learn different skills. Uh, some of these skills, many of them are uh, tech related. So IT things, but some of them are also, I guess what you would call uh, soft skills. So if you look at this first one here, Bill George on self-awareness, authenticity and leadership. It's more of a soft uh, skill, I would say. Um, one of the things that I think is helpful uh, once you log in here as far as looking for courses is to look at, um, you can look at things that are popular or really the default here is things that are new. That that's really uh, can be helpful because so many things, especially in IT, are changing. So you want to have the most recent uh, information when you're learning about IT related stuff. And you can see right here the date of the course. So you can see how recent uh, things are. Now you could also come up here and search for particular things. Zoom, which we're on right now, is very popular. Um, and in any kind of a database or search, you always want to know how your things are, are sorted. In this case, it's sorted by best match. You may want to do release date to get the more recent things. Um, This is a course that I recently did. You see the check mark here, learning Zoom with Garrick Chow. Um, so that is a complete course that I finished. Um, now you could also simply browse if you say, well, I'm not really sure what I want. If you hit this little library link here, it gives you a bunch of different topics. Uh, so if you say, well, you're interested in marketing uh, or you're interested in design or education, e-learning is popular right now, you could click on that topic. Certainly these sorts of things, learning to teach online and others um, are very helpful at this point. You see this plus here, if you hit this plus, I can add this to a playlist. So the default would just be my playlist or you can create new playlist. I have this kind of tips and tricks for 2020. Whenever I see a course that I think might be helpful, 
I add it to that playlist. And up top, it has my name. And you have your playlists. It's my playlist. These are my tips and tricks. It tells me whether or not I've completed the course or what percentage. This is the one I just added. Um, so I have these uh, courses here. The other thing you could do with these is you could share these courses with someone else. So when you're looking at the course, you could share it. You can copy and paste a link. So as long as the person has access to Linda um, through the library or otherwise, you could copy and paste and send them a link. Now let me look and see if we have any questions in the chat. No questions in the chat. Um, one thing is when you log in, you need that library card and PIN number. So if anybody here doesn't know their uh, PIN number, their um, or library card number, you know, you lost your library card, etc. You can call us at the library. Our phones are down, but actually I'm going to type in our Google voice number, which we're checking today, which is 845-288-3133. So you can access us at that number until our phones get back up. And um, we often check that number anyway because that is how we were operating when we were down, um, you know, and out there and closed for a while. We were doing everything through that, uh, through that number. So that's a good backup number to have for the library. Uh, so if you don't know your PIN, don't know your library card, or you get stuck, you can reach out to us there. The other thing you could search for up here is, and this is just an example from the library, um, we wanted to know how to help people with public computers, and someone recommended a software called Quick Assist. Uh, which is available through Windows 10. So if you search for Quick Assist, which is what uh, we did, we found this video here, which is two minutes and 39 seconds. Now this is part of a larger series on Windows 10 troubleshooting IT support, but it's really just the two minutes that my people and that we needed to know uh, because we wanted to know how to help people at the public computers without having to go over to someone and kind of break that social distancing. Um, and this little quick assist was the way we could do it. We're not necessarily interested in this whole um, course, Windows 10 troubleshooting, but this one video we found very helpful. So, um, and again, you can just share out um, this particular video uh, with this link. So that's what, uh, how we used it. Um, another thing is once you start completing courses, your profile is up here and you get a little certificate. So if I go to my certificates, I can see this learning Zoom certificate. I can view it and print it. You can share it. And also, if you have LinkedIn, you can add it to your LinkedIn profile or share it via social media or just send this link. So if your boss says, you know, you have to learn Excel, you have to learn this, you have to learn that, um, you could take one of these courses and then you can send it to your boss or whoever and say, hey, look, I completed it. Or if you're looking for work uh, and you want to add skills to your toolbox, um, you can take these video courses and you can add that to your resume um, and let people know, or your LinkedIn. Uh, still got you guys with me. If you have questions, I'll come back here and check from time to time. Um, so also in your profile here, you can bookmark courses. Uh, you can recommend 
these are ones recommended based on what I've already taken, not things that I recommend. These are the history of the courses that I've taken. Um, and again, I already talked about the playlists here. Um, one other thing, let's look at the course that I just completed, the learning Zoom. Another thing that is effective is while you're viewing the course, there's a little notebook feature. So as I was viewing the course, there were certain things that stuck out to me. So when you're viewing the course, so I'm just going to start to watch this Zoom again. video conferences give you and your team the ability to meet together from anywhere in the world where you have an internet connection. You can not only see and hear each other through Zoom conferences, but you can also share documents. Now, if I type there, and then you have to hit the enter key to get it to register, then what it does is it marks that timestamp where you're typing and then adds a note to it. So that if I come back here, just, just open the participants panel. It takes me to the specific part um, where I added the note that's helpful. So you watch a whole course, but there are certain things that stick out in the course that you wanna go back to and that you wanna to refer to. So you can mark those things in your notebook and if you go back to the course, you'll see the contents, which is this is what everyone sees, but then I have my notebook. If you wanna delete a note, because I just really put that one in there um, for fun, then you can just simply delete that note. You could also export your notes into PDF. I didn't really take uh, full length notes, but if you were doing in-depth note taking while you were viewing the course, you could um, you could take in-depth notes and then export those into PDF. So that could be very helpful. Um, there's a transcript. So some people like to read um, as they watch. If you're one of those folks, it will highlight. I can see there are two people waiting here. Now, if I know both of these people or if I know everybody in the waiting room, I can click admit all to let them all in, or I could remove somebody I don't recognize, or I could just click admit to let people in on a person-by-person -person basis. I'll let both Jess and Nick into the meeting. And there they are. They currently have their cameras and audio off just so we don't have to worry about seeing them right now. So now, you, could, once everyone... you could follow along in the transcript if you, if you chose to do so. So that could be helpful for some people as well. Now your layout here will either take up the full screen or you can have it, if you are using those notes and you wanna follow along, you can change your layout there as well. You could also go to full screen, which could be helpful um, by clicking this button here. And you could take a tour of, uh, of Linda and different keyboard uh, shortcuts. Some people like shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts, um, if you, want to use that, you could use those as well. Um, what else did I want to cover here? Um, are there any questions? Let's see if there's anything in the Q&A. Nothing in the Q&A. Still with you. Good, Edith. Um, I don't know if anyone has any questions for me. If you want to post them in the chat, or the Q&A. Um, or something you want me to cover a little bit more of uh, about Linda. Now those are, are pretty much, um, that's how to get into Linda, how to use Linda, um, how to access your playlists, how to access your certificates. Um, you know, that's really, um, the nuts and bolts of the product. Uh, again, you have to have a new city card. 
but as long as you have that and you know what your PIN number is, um, you're good to go on using Linda. Can you go for how to get the certificate? Okay, so once you view the entire um, contents of the um, program, so you see here all these things with the I, that means I've watched all of these. Once you've watched them all, then you've completed the course and you can get the certificate. Now the certificate will show up up here under your profile and then certificates. Then you can view it and print it. So you could sit or you could save it as a PDF. You could also share the certificate uh, via social media. You can get a direct link to it or you can add it to a LinkedIn uh, profile. So that is certificates. Um, I think that covered that. Uh, does that, okay, that sounds good. Uh, any other questions um, about LinkedIn? It's really a phenomenal product. And New City had this uh, last year, 2019. And the use, frankly, wasn't really good. Um, but when we closed down because of the pandemic, uh, when we closed our physical doors, we were all really still working from home um, and trying to highlight virtual stuff. And at that point, I said uh, to my colleagues, I think we need to give this another try. So um, along with that is um, you can't just subscribe to these things. You got to let people know about it. You got to have these sorts of webinars. Um, so tell your friends, tell your neighbors. Uh, Linda is a phenomenal product and especially at this time when so many people are out of work or uh, looking to try to uh, deal with how to use technology, how to use Zoom, how to teach online. I think um, if there was ever a time for Linda, I think this is the time uh, for people to use this product and get the most out of it. So um, I don't know if I'll hang around if you guys have uh, questions, but I think that's pretty much what I was looking to cover today. Um, I know it was short, but I hope it was sweet. Um, thank you guys for, for coming. I hope you're all well. And um, I'll put my email down here in the chat. It's bjennings at newcitylibrary.org. And um, you have our Google Voice number. And um, thanks for coming. Check the chat again. Oh, what other libraries in the county have it? Will it always be used by residents, always be used by residents of the town? Um, I could look that up right now. Um, what other libraries have Linda? Usually your library is um, resources are divided up by um, your school district, generally speaking. There are some exceptions to that. Um, and, and the exception in this case is that, um, okay, Nanuet has it, Valley Cottage has it, Pearl River has it, and New City has it. The exception in this case is that because New City and West Niagara are separate, um, right now New City only is using it. I had did have some discussions with uh, 
Rhonda at West Nyack about them getting Linda. Um, and we try to share as much as we can with them, but only when it makes sense from a cost perspective. Um, there was no savings for um, either of the libraries to go in um, together. Uh, so we simply let West Nyack know we're going to get this, and if you want to get it, here is the information. I think Rhonda is open to that, so if you happen to be in West Nyack, I'd reach out to her. And I think, for that matter, any of the other libraries at this point, uh, the way services are being offered more remotely, they would be open um, to it. So I would say if you live in a different uh, district, I would reach out to your library. Uh, so if there's no more questions, um, thanks, guys, and uh, have a good day. Enjoy it. Oh, wait. If you haven't left yet, actually, I have a poll. I know there's only two of you, but I'm going to launch this poll. So if you haven't left yet, maybe fill out this poll. I learned this on the Linda webinar, how to launch a poll. I thought it might be cool. So we're looking at what we're going to do in the fall, and these were just some different ideas that I had. I, some of these things we've done before, uh, some of these things we haven't done. Um, some of these things might be in this webinar format. Some of these things might be in more of a meeting format where everyone is, is there. Um, so if you're still there and, and some of this looks good, uh, choose whatever's interesting. If, if you're, you can feel free to go if, if you have to go or if you're not really interested in this stuff and there's another topic you might want us to cover, you can, oh, there you go, we got one. Tutor.com, definitely want to do that early in September to try to help uh, some of the students coming back in. Uh, more online book clubs, we're looking at that. Uh, local history trivia, we just started spitballing that yesterday. And uh, the historical newspapers, I'll add that to my list. It looks like that's probably going to be it. Thank you for sticking in there with us and uh, have a good day.